Breakthrough Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about the project, which is cutting-edge IoT technology for smart Indian farmer. Introduction of the project. Healthcare and pharmaceuticals play a crucial role in ensuring the well-being of a nation's population and timely access to medical facilities is essential for maintaining public health. To meet this demand effectively, pharmaceutical manufacturing companies need to anticipate and respond to past and future disease outbreaks by producing adequate medicines and medical equipment. So we advocate the integration of the Internet of Things technology to transform the pharmaceutical industry into a smart pharma capable of making informed decisions. Smart Pharma incorporates IoT sensors in manufacturing units to monitor environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity to optimize medicine production and storage. Additionally, wearable sensors provide to patients enable real-time health monitoring and reporting, facilitating data-driven pharmaceutical manufacturing to address prevalent health issues. Objective of the project the primary objective of the project is to delve into the possibilities and benefits of implementing IoT in the pharmaceutical sector. This involves understanding how IoT technology can be strategically employed to enhance various facets of smart pharma operations in India. The project aims to contribute to the advancements of the Indian pharmaceutical industry by focusing on smart pharma operations. Through the integration of IoT technology and sensors, the goal is to identify and implement innovative solutions that can improve efficiency, traceability, and overall performance within the sector. The project focuses on different levels integral to establishing a robust IoT-based pharmaceutical system. It aims to provide valuable insights into the integration of IoT at various levels of the pharmaceutical industry, laying the groundwork for a comprehensive and effective IoT ecosystem. The project incorporates machine learning algorithms to predict patient health conditions and identify disease trends. By leveraging data acquired through IoT and sensors, the objective is to develop accurate and proactive models that can contribute to the early detection and management of health issues. The project is organized into distinct phases to ensure a systematic approach. This includes the acquisition of data and information through IoT devices and sensors, as well as the effective management of IoT system within the specific context of Smart Pharma. This structured phases aims to facilitate a seamless integration process and optimize the overall effectiveness of the IoT-based system. To implement the project, we need software and hardware requirements. Coming to hardware requirements, we need processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and ROM of 25 GB and above. Coming to software requirements, we need Node.js, Python 3.7.0 version, and Visual Studio Community version. To implement this project, we have designed various modules in the methodology. In the IoT simulation, the first module is IoT ID. In this step, we select an IoT ID, which represents a unique identifier for each IoT device or sensor. Here we choose 20 different patient IoT IDs. Coming to the next module, which is Build Hard Disease Machine Learning Model. This step involves uploading a hard disease data set to train a machine learning model. This module is used to predict whether a patient's condition is normal or abnormal based on the data. Coming to Generate Network, this step involves creating a simulated network where IoT devices, which represent patients with wearable sensors, send the data to a central server, which is Pharma Server. Coming to Initialize Network, here we initialize the network by identifying gateway nodes that receive data from IoT devices and forward it to the pharma base station for monitoring and processing. IoT patient monitoring for pharma. This step starts the process of continuous monitoring of patients. IoT devices send data to their nearest gateway nodes, which then relay the data to the pharma base station. The next module is stop monitoring. This option allows us to hold the continuous patient monitoring process. The last module in the IoT simulation is Propose versus Extension Packet Size Graph. This step involves generating a graph that compares the size of data packets. In the web interface, the first module is Registration. This section allows users to register on the platform. Users can sign up as either individuals who are users or pharmaceutical companies. Coming to the next module, which is Company Login, after registration, companies can log in. Once logged in, they can perform various actions. So coming to add product, companies can add information about their medicines, including details and photos. View product. Companies can view details of medicines that they have added to the platform. View orders. 
This allows companies to view orders placed by customers or users. Searched medicine. Companies can view a list of medicines that have been searched by the users. View condition. Company can view condition of the patient. The next module is user login. Individual users can log into the platform. Once logged in, they can perform various actions, which is searching the product. Users can search product for medicines that they need. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder, which contains source code files. So this is the code folder of the project. As we don't have any IoT sensors, we build simulation using hard disease data set to train machine learning models. So inside this folder, we have the hard disease data set. Coming to pharma folder, inside this folder, there are Python code files that are intended to be dynamically loaded into the project code during runtime. Here we have pharma app folder. This folder comprises of a static folder, templates folder, and Python code files. Coming to static folder, it contains files related to CSS, JavaScript, and bootstrap files. These files contribute to the visual and interactive aspects of the application. Coming to templates folder, within that folder, we will find all the HTML pages used throughout the project. It includes pages like index.html, home.html and more, representing various sections of the website. Coming to Python code files that will be executed during the runtime of the application, supporting its functionality. Here we have DB file. This contains queries that we need to run in the MySQL workbench to create a database. Here we have manage.py. It is a command line utility that comes with the Django. It provides various commands for managing Django projects, including tasks like running the development server, creating the database tables, and applying migrations and more. Here we have run.bat files. Instead of executing the project in command line interface, we have created this Windows bat file to execute the project. And this run.bat file is for executing the web interface. And this run simulation.bat file is for executing simulation environment. Now we need to double click on this run simulation.bat file for execution. This is the graphical user interface of the project. With this, we can interact with the program and this is created by using the tick -inter library. So here we can see IoT ID dropdown in that we have 20 patient IoT IDs. Now we will click on build hard disease machine learning model button to upload hard disease data and then build a machine learning model. Here I'm selecting and uploading dataset.csv file and now we will click on open button to load the dataset and then build a machine learning model. Here in the text area, we can see machine learning model is generated and we got its disease prediction accuracy. Now the model is ready. Now we will click on generate network to set up pharma patient IoT network. Here we can see all red color circles represent as patient with variable sensor and the blue color node is the pharma server and all red color circle which is IoT will send data to blue color which is pharma server. Now we will click on initialize network button to find gateway node which will receive data from IoT and send to pharma base station for monitoring and processing. Here we can see all green color circles are the gateway and all the red color circles which are inside the big circle will send to its nearest gateway and gateway will send to the blue node. Now we will click on IoT patient monitoring for pharma button to start sending the data. Here we can see each IoT is sending data to its nearest neighbor and neighbor is sending to green color gateway and gateway is sending to the pharma base station. In text area, we can see patient IoT hard data and then machine learning predicting patient condition as normal or abnormal and then displaying total normal and abnormal patient count. By this, pharma can manufacture sufficient medicines and then we can also see plain packet and compressed packet size. Here, we can also see that IoT continuously monitoring patient data and reporting to the pharma server. At any time, we can click on stop monitoring button to stop sending the data. So now we will click on stop monitoring button. And now we have to click on propose versus extension packet size graph. Here on X axis, it represents packet type and on Y axis, it represents packet size. We can see extension compression technique is reducing packet size to 50%. So network has to send less data and then we will not get jammed. So close the graph, minimize the GUI, minimize the console. We created a web interface to provide convenient access and real-time data monitoring scenario for pharmaceutical companies, healthcare professionals and patients enhancing projects usability and collaboration capabilities. So for executing the project in the web interface, we need to double click on the sun.bat file. The Django framework will host the application locally at the default address, which is the local host and the port. 
Now we need to copy this local link provided by the framework and paste it in any web browser. So I'm copying the link. I prefer Google Chrome, so I'll paste it in that. Here we'll paste the link. At the end, we need to type index.html and then click on enter. Here we can see that web page of the project is displayed in the browser and this is created by using the Django framework. Here in the home page, we can see two links which are login link and register here link. First, we need to register as the user and the company. For that, we need to click on register here. Here in the user type, we can see company and the user. So first we will sign up as a user. For that, we need to provide all the user details. So here we will give the username. So I'm giving the username as Swati and password of Swati. And here we need to provide the contact number, email ID, and the address. User type we need to select as user and then click on register. Here we can see sign up process is completed. Now we will sign up as the company. So first we will give the username of the company, password, contact number, email ID, address, and user type will select as company and then click on register. So here we can see that sign up process is completed successfully. So now we need to log in as company. For that, we need to click on login link. Here we need to provide company's credentials, which are the username and the password. So I'm giving username and the password. And now we need to click on login. So the company has logged in successfully. Here in the company dashboard page, we can see various links, which are add product, view products, view orders, search medicine, view condition, and logout. First, we need to click on add product link to add the new medicines. Here, we need to provide all the medicine details. So here, the medicine name is Grosin and the company name is Aditya Pharmacy. Cost is 4 rupees. Description is for pain relief. Now, we need to click on choose file button to upload the medicine image. So I'm selecting this Grosin image. Now, we will click on open and click on submit button. Product details are added successfully. Now, we need to click on view products link to view available products. So here company can view all their available products. Now we need to click on view orders to view all the orders from the customers or the users. If any user makes the purchase, then company can view their orders. So here we can see that Swati has purchased the tablet, which is Dolo 650. Now we will click on search medicine. By this company can view all the medicine searched by the users. So here we can see that the username Swati has searched for the tablet dollar 650. Now we will click on view condition. By this company can get patient condition from the simulation application. So here company can see IoT sensor data, which is patient ID. Here we have the IoT sense patient data and here we have patient condition, which is abnormal or normal. Now we will log out and login as user. For that, we need to click on login. Here we need to provide credentials of the user. So we are giving username and the password of the user. And now we need to click on login. User has logged in successfully. Now we need to click on search products link. Here we need to enter the product name and then click on search. So I'm giving the product name as dollar 650 and now we need to click on search. Here user can view all the details of the searched medicines. Here in the purchase column, which is purchase product column. If we click on click here link, we can purchase that product. So I'm clicking on click here link for this particular tablet, which is dollar 650. So the order is confirmed in the similar way. The companies can add medicines and the user can search and purchase the orders. So now we will log out. Conclusion of the project. 
This project offers a comprehensive solution to transform the pharmaceutical industry in India into a smart pharma ecosystem, bridging the gap between manufacturing and patient healthcare. By integrating IoT technology for real-time monitoring and wearable sensors for continuous health data collection, the proposed system enhances the responsiveness and efficiency of pharmaceutical companies. Advanced machine learning algorithms empower predictive healthcare, enabling timely production of medicines and proactive interventions for patients. Data compression techniques mitigate the risk of internet congestion, ensuring seamless data transmission. Focusing on the Indian pharmaceutical industry, this project not only modernizes manufacturing process, but also contributes to the country's public health goals by addressing the timely supply of medicines and healthcare management needs. Thank you for watching video. For more projects, please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.